Hi, and welcome to my channel. My name is Alex, and I am here your virtual guide. If you are here, watching this movie, it only means that you have grown up and start asking yourself questions like, why do we have daytime and nighttime? How day and night cycles work? And one more interesting question, what is it takes to only have sunshine all day long, without nighttime at all? Stay with me for the next few minutes, to find out together the answer for this. We are about to start a 3D animation travel, exploring the space around our planet, to discover all of this. By the end of this video, you will know why daytime and nighttime occur, and you will be amazed how simple it was to understand it. Are you ready? Let us start our discovery adventure. First, for a better understanding, we must highlight four facts about our planet Earth. First fact, the shape of our planet Earth is spherical, almost same as a ball. Second fact, the Earth is continuously spinning around its own invisible axis that crosses the planet in the middle, from North Pole to South Pole. Now, before we go further, let us imagine that we can look to the Earth, from outer space, so that we can understand better, next facts. Third fact, the universe is a giant dark place. Without the light from the sun, it would be just a continuous night on our planet. Fourth fact and the last one. Just like a flashlight which will enlighten, just half of a ball in the darkness, the same way the light which is coming from the sun, is lighting only half of our planet's surface. Now let us move closer and see, how does this works for our main question. Why do we have day and night after all? Well it is amazingly simple. For that, we will take as an example a place from the earth, where someone might live. We mark it with a flag, so that we can easily keep an eye on it. Let us remember, that the earth has only half side lightened by the sun rays, while the other half stays in the shade. Now please observe the flag, while it is rotating through the lighted side given by the sun rays. This rotation is performed in about 12 hours, and it is called daytime. To complete the rotation through the dark side, it will take another 12 hours during of what we are calling nighttime. But what about how the days and nights are starting? Have you already have noticed the borders? between lighted side and darkened side? When the flag is entering the border coming from the dark side to the lighted side, it is the ending of a nighttime and is the beginning of a daytime. People which live in that border area, will experience the sunrise. Same way, when the flag after rotating through all day zone, and will come across the borderline with dark side, it will mark the end of the daytime and the beginning of the nighttime. People which live in that border area, will experience then the sunset. A full rotation of the flag from one point and back to the same point takes about 24 hours. These 24 hours are split in about 12 hours daytime and 12 hours of nighttime, depending on the season. To conclude, we have observed how a person, which lives on any place from the Earth, like the one shown by the flag, will experience due to planet's rotation, an alternate exposure to the sun rays or to shade. And that alternate exposure caused by rotation, it is the day and night cycle. Or, simple said, it is the daytime, and the nighttime on our planet Earth. Oh. I almost forgot to answer the question, what is it takes to have a continuous daytime on our planet? Well, it would take two suns to light from both opposite directions of the Earth to have that happening. 
But at the end, who wants that? Daytime is as good for our activities. As it is nighttime good for our sweet dreams. It is time now to say goodbye to each other. If you like this video, and if you want to find out more about our planet, the universe, time, gravity, and many other interesting things, please subscribe to our new channel. Goodbye for now. And please remember, the best thing you could learn about our planet is learning how to care about it and learning how environmentally live on it.